Welcome back to my toy reviews. And um, before I go any further, I'd just like to say I hope everybody's staying healthy and I guess isolating yourselves as much as possible. I know a lot of people are unemployed and I'm one of them right now. Hopefully within a couple of weeks um, things will pick up. It's hard to keep up with the numbers, what's going down, what's going up and all that. What I've got here today um, there hasn't been any flea markets or uh, anything like that around the area. They're all shut down. So pickings are pretty sparse. Actually not at all. So um, I went to my storage unit and rummaged, rummaged around in some boxes there. and Came out with this and another model in the Matchbox series. 6x6 six six prime mover with trailer and the caterpillar tractor on the back. This one's from 1962 and it's a beautiful model actually. This was the first king size model with windows. And I believe it's a Scammel Explorer. I looked up uh, Scammel trucks and they got so many names for our different models from back in the day. But I believe it's the Explorer. Pretty nice. The original one had um, the metal, metal wheels. And this one's got the red plastic. I kind of like the red plastic. On this one it seems to set it off. It's got a nice metal tow hook. Which is a part of the base plate. It's got the Lang decals. both sides and on the doors civil engineering contractors and the original decal on this would have had that in small letters here civil engineering contractors on both sides so this is a little later model The, the, um, this trailer, which I think is a crane trailer, I'm not sure. I looked up actual life uh, scammels with trailers and that, and that seemed to be the prominent name popping up was Crane. So, it's got a simple, simple tow eye here, which is nice. And here's the Caterpillar tractor. Now when I took this out of the box, I had it in these tracks. Um, this one literally fell off the Caterpillar. And this one was still on, but it's cracked and very hard. So ready to go to. But I happen to have a 
pair of new tracks that I'd purchased some time ago. And they were in my uh, spare parts box at home here. At home here, so I use them. It's got the red plastic rollers rather than the metal ones. Other than that, it's just a standard um, D9. It's actually marked king size number eight. Which is the set number. Red engine. Nice looking model. Nice display piece when it's all set up. Actually that trailer will hold a lot of different matchbox toys, construction equipment, so come in pretty handy. Now this name, uh, Lang, appeared on a lot of toys back in the day, especially Matchbox. And I found out in my reading that um, Lang was a civil engineering company that was hired by Lesney to build their new factory at the uh, Lee Conservancy Road in 1965. Of course this was 62, this one came out so it was prior to that but I thought that was interesting. Now the base plate is silver but it could be black too on some models. And like I said originally it came out with metal hubs with the black plastic tires and silver painted grill but a very nice model and actually I'd actually forgotten I had it when I started digging through that box and it popped up so I'm, I've done a lot of reviews on matchbox models but uh, this is the first on this one This catalog I've got here is a 1965 Matchbox. And this model came out in 62 and was gone by 67. It was replaced by one of the Guy Warrior uh, car transports. What I found interesting on this catalog, my dad had this in his stuff and, uh, for years and I never noticed Victoria Hobbies and Crafts Limited. And I'm thinking he picked it up at that store because when I was a kid we went in there a few times when we were in Victoria. So. That's kind of neat. Got the whole line or lines. There's the models of yesteryear. King size. Look at the drawing they've got of that um, Fordson tractor and it's quite a bit removed from what the actual model was. Although the model is nice, they show a lot more detail in this drawing. And the trailer's red, when well, it was gray, 
that's beside the point. These old drawings over there, they're better than the uh, photographs, I think. Some of the artwork is great. It was sure a nice era back back then for Matchbox. They were really the leaders of the pack. Now the Caterpillar tractor I mentioned was numbered uh, number eight, but that's that's this set. It was originally number three in the uh, Matchbox series. To avoid any confusion. The trailer is also numbered number eight. Certainly some nice models of these and um, good old classics for Matchbox. I found another one in that box and um, that'll be my next video. So uh, that about wraps this one up. And I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.